Hi everyone, my name is Bradley Justice and I'm very excited to be here as part of Tonnerfest with Virtual Doll Convention. I always love to get together with Rachel and talk Barbie because Barbie is my passion and I love um, Barbie, I've loved Barbie my whole life. Um, as a Barbie collector, when Robert Tonner introduced his Tyler Wentworth doll in 1999, I was at Toy Fair and I was immediately smitten and I have always admired Tonner's work and was very excited that he was introducing this fabulous fashion doll who had an essence of Barbie because I know Tonner loves Barbie as well, but was an amazing sort of character in our sort of imagined world. Um, Tyler Wentworth was a fashion designer taking over a designer in her um, family business. And so she was always amazing with her introduction. And what, what I loved about Tonner's philosophy was his tagline was believe in the power of play. And I love play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello. Hey, did someone say let's play dolls? Well, I love playing dolls with my best friend. That's what I've done ever since I was a kid. So we're going to have a little doll play with our Robert Tonner dolls. And I brought Tyler Wentworth and you've got everyone else. <laughs> I have several. I am so in love with Tonner dolls. Y'all just wait. So Billy, I know you and I both kind of share a juvenile and childhood love of playing Barbie and dolls. I played with my cousin, she and I, we had the country camper and we, that, there's a million miles on that country camper. We played with it so much with Barbie and Francie and Ken. So we had a great time and you played with Barbie too? I played with Barbies too. I had three younger sisters and I played Barbie from the time I was four or five, all the way till I was, well, now. <laughs> you didn't really <laughs> but, stop. <laughs> but my, my sister sort of stopped around age 15 to 18. So, but we we didn't have a lot growing up. So Barbie was very mod at the time. So we would get clamshells from the beach and those were our clamshell chairs. And we just had a blast with it. And if we'd have had that camper, we would have worn the <laughs> rubber off those tires. We had it. so much fun. And, and like you, we we were very creative. We did all kinds of stuff, creating a little world for the dolls we were playing with. It was a lot of fun. And I know we both kind of have shared a love for Barbie, but it's evolved into a lot of other dolls. And um, I know you have Billy Barbie. Um, yes. I gave Billy... This Billy, Billy Barbie, after Billy Barbie went on a trip with me to Europe because she couldn't go with me, so um, we took her stunt double and, <laughs> and she had a blast. She had a blast. <laughs> um, she went to Paris and Germany, and um, and now since she comes live with you, she's been all over. Oh, she travels almost everywhere with me, and people expect to see her if I. Ooh, sometimes forget she's at the spa and she doesn't catch the flight with me. Oh my gosh, everybody's really upset, especially Billy Barbie. But she's actually transitioned because we do love Barbies. Tonner's like the, I don't know. Like, it's, it was the modern fashion doll. And, it's, and once again, it's that play element to where you're encouraged not to leave something in a box, but to literally take it out and play with it and enjoy it. And I think that's what I loved about everything that um, Rachel has done with Grace, with her introduction. It's just an extension of that. So when did you discover Robert Tonner and Tonner Dolls? Tonner Dolls came into my life with Ava Gardner. And that doll is so well done. And she's the smaller version. And she came into my life during a Region 8 regional. And that one was in 2002. 2002. Which was absolutely amazing. I have such good memories of that conference. So It was an amazing conference. It's, I think it's one of the best regionals we've ever had. I, I totally agree. It was agree. so well done. And Robert was just wonderful. The star of the show. He was the, the star. star of the show. So, um, I'm gonna put Billy Barbie down because we have so much to kind of see and look at here. Um, because I have Grace Barbie too, y'all. <laughs> well, that dress is adorable, and uh, and Rachel's the one that sent me the photo of like we've got Barbie Grace too. So, she's great. Let me hold her. Let me hold yeah, her. So, so, um, 
but again. I think she is fabulous. So, <laughs> so Grace is um, absolutely amazing. And so it's a whole new sort of modern Tonner doll and new sculpt, new everything. And um, you do the subscription, so. I do, y'all. Yeah. And it becomes extremely addictive very quickly. And then also the other good thing about virtual is all the shopping opportunities you have. So I will say a few um, Chanel bags have come my <laughs> way <laughs> through that that venue too. But yeah, well, yeah. that of is of course really I had it. to get the well, pink one. It's kind of like when we were little and we would save our money up and, and once a month get to go to this this store and and maybe buy a little something for your doll. It's that same sort of surprise element. So. I think it's brilliant. So you have Nima and um, Ellen, Ellen and Grace, and then I have you have Nima. multiple Graces. <laughs> I I fell well. I did Grace, and then I found out about Ellen, and then Nima came into my life. And y'all, I, I I'm really stuck on which one I like the best because I had to get the one in the pink feathery gown because this, I'm the pink princess. So. This looks like you. It absolutely looks like you. It's so pretty. So you've got quite the collection, and I know just from hanging out with you that you play with with this. Whenever I show up at Billy's house, there's always a coffee table that's littered with with Tonner dresses and 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 things where she's been dressing and undressing. We've been you have fun with them. I, I mean, have fun with them, y'all. The first thing I do when I get a doll in a box or an outfit in a box, it comes out. No, I. I destroy boxes to get to the doll, <laughs> and and it's same thing with Rachel's subscription boxes, which are always, y'all, it's like having Christmas once a month. It comes with confetti and little surprises, and even little oh, earrings. So They're little popsicles. I love those them. Those are great. So, those are so great. Really so, fun. So, um, we are gonna spend the rest of the afternoon together playing dolls and having a lot of fun. I hope that you will play dolls today and have some fun, and we will look forward to seeing you more in the virtual doll convention world. Bye, y'all. Take care.